Welcome back. You know, we're talking about how the gospel impacts every area of culture and life. And we have Jamie Rao here, life coach Amen. and also chaplain yeah. in the uh, in the film industry. Yeah. You know, I, I've, I really enjoyed the time that you spent with Laura Lynn and in the time that we've had yeah. behind the scenes. And uh, I wanted to go back on something that you said as well. And I thought this was interesting. How important it is for us to hear not only the voice of God, but to obey that call when yeah. he gives it. Because there was an urgency on September the 13th. Yeah. What happened on that day? Yeah, that's, uh, you're right, there was an urgency. And uh, the fruit shows that, that mm -hmm. there was an urgency on it. But yeah, it, uh, on September 13th, it's, that was when I had that conversation that I felt the call um, to, uh, to this uh, industry. Uh, and that night, uh, my life changed. Yeah. Like, you went through warfare, you went yeah. through battle, oh, there yeah. were things, there were voices that yeah. you were hearing. Oh yeah, there was the, the enemy was uh, right in my face, He's telling me no, don't even do this. And uh, It's all not night, gonna work, you're not, not good enough, yeah. you're inadequate. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it, it came down to taking a step of faith in uh, October and quitting my job. And uh, just say, Lord, I am going to do this call. Yeah. So I don't have, I don't know what the ministry is. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'm going to quit and I'm going to give it to you. And then, yeah. Then, then two days later after I did that, then that's when I was introduced to Mission Canada. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's so interesting because you've got four children and, you know, the gospel is, is very clear. It is, it is absolute, you know, come follow me. Just leave where you've come from, yeah, right? Totally. And uh, you've got to face your wife. <laughs> now, this is <laughs> yeah. difficult, right? Yeah. Now, there's God, and then there's the God of the house. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and she's going to ask you, is that the L-A-R-D over at Tim Horton, yeah. or is that the L-O-R-D? Yeah. <laughs> How did you get past your wife? I mean, I mean that would have um, been my toughest thing. Four kids, she would have yeah. said, you know what? You better be very clear here, Bubba. Yeah, totally. Um, it's funny because I, I didn't get past my wife. It was God. Right from the right from the beginning. So that night on September September thirteenth, two thousand thirteen, um, I told her what my conversation was with. Right away, she was like, "That's that sounds amazing." Yeah. And I was thrown back by her interest for <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> being a creative guy, being in, you know, I, I've always, she's always got one foot in, one foot out, in all the things I do. Yeah. And, to keep you uh, balanced. Yeah, keep me balanced, right? Yeah. I mean, what, what's that going to do for the family? Yeah, keep right? it real. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and then when I went to her and I said, "Hey, I'm quitting my job tomorrow. Are we doing this? Yeah, <laughs> are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, are we doing this? Are we really I, doing and this?" And I really wanted her to say no because yeah. I was scared. Yeah. And uh, and she looked at me and she said, "Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I'm like, what are you? Are you stupid or something? Of course we're doing this. Like yeah. it was just a no brainer for her. Yeah. Which I knew this was the call of God. You, you know that's important because I, I came out of professional athletics and and after being in, and I don't know how much. Uh, the industry has changed since I was there, but it was it's it, it's an aggressive business, yeah. and you're talking about uh, and, and I was being paid by an idol, mm. so it was idolatry, and mm. I couldn't be a preacher mm. in that industry, mm. but I could have a good testimony yeah. because I knew that people were going to ask me what gives you the right when you're getting paid by this to yeah. do that. So yeah. now you're crossing over yeah. into the enemy's camp and no mm. longer getting paid, mm. but now you're ministering in that. Yeah. How did God begin to now give you confirmation that he did, in, in fact, send you here? Oh, so much. There was, uh, I mean, because I started the process, getting the whole approval rate to be a homeland missionary with Mission Canada. And then as um, I got my credentials and, uh, and, and then started the fundraising process, and then all of a sudden, without being fully funded, uh, God tells me to go ahead and do it. Yeah. And he did it with the fruit of like this, where they, we had a meeting, 150 people in a meeting for an actors union meeting. And one of the people that was on, serving on our leadership team was there. God told him to uh, tell everyone there at this meeting to stand up and say what our vision is, what we're here to do, what we're going to do in the city. And uh, he fought it, but at the end of the day, was obedient, went up there and, uh, and, and spoke our vision, what we're doing, what we're planning to do in the city and for the film industry. And uh, he got a standing ovation from 150 people in a room where they were done and they wanted the meeting to be over. They'll go have their wine and cheese at the end. And they were not ready to hear another person talk at the yeah. union meeting. This was at the very end. And they gave him a standing ovation all the way to his seat. And uh, then he got bombarded by people saying, hey, I need this. Yeah. When are you meeting? 
or, or uh, I know someone who needs this, or, or we need this, or one person said, hey, we, we tried to do something last month, and 50 yeah. of us got together and tried to figure out how do we do this life and this business, because it, it's just, it's so painful. Yeah. But we love it, right? We love this industry, but it's so painful. And uh, but, so he's sitting there saying, well, we have the answers, and it's not yeah. us that has the answers, but it's Jesus. Yeah. And so, yeah, so that's how it started. And when I got, when he told me that that's what happened, I just about crawled in a hole and hid and ran away because I'm like, I'm not ready. It's too much too soon, right? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, but the Lord said to me, uh, I'm ready. The people are ready. And if you're not, I'll find someone else. My God. So that's when I said, okay, I'll be ready. I'll do my best, right? Because mm. yeah, I wasn't ready. I didn't feel like I was inadequate. Right? I wasn't there yet or I wasn't funded yet. Like know? Moses, who do I say sent me? Yeah. And uh, But God gave you a, a call. Yeah. You have some very interesting, because it's an underground uh, Bible study and some of the things you do. And it went from zero to how many people now? Well, we have, uh, we've had uh, 150 people pass through in, wow. through our, in six months. Yeah. Like yeah. And it continues to grow. And yeah. uh, you have uh, an interesting thing. You, you see people in all different categories of life. Yeah. Uh, one guy you were talking about, uh, he even teaches in an alternative lifestyle. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, we got, we got a guy who comes every, every uh, time we meet and a uh, stand-up comedian. And, and he, he teaches a whole other religion on Tuesday nights, but he'll come to our Bible study on Wednesday nights. And... He's addicted to the crystal meth. Uh, and he came up to me one night after, after a meeting, about four months into him coming, and said, listen, I, uh, what I believe in doesn't work. And that's why I'm here. Show me your resources and show me what I need to do to what you're doing here, right? Which is the gospel, is what we preach every, yeah. every Wednesday, you know? So now we're working through that journey with him to get off of crystal meth and, yeah. and uh, guide him back to faith. So, yeah. You know, when you talk about absolute truth and, and being a Joseph in this environment, uh, you, uh, you spoke about a, a woman that was also uh, engaged and she's uh, in a very high position. What are some of the films that you're, you guys are engaged in and what's coming to Canada right now? I love movies. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, with, uh, right now, Hollywood North is pretty busy. Yeah. And uh, we've got, uh, yeah, there's all sorts of the Marvel movies are being shot there, Star Wars, yeah. Star Trek. Yeah. Um, we've even got, you know, like Fifty Shades of Grey was shot there. Wow. Um, we got a guy on set there that's ministering to people on set on Fifty Shades. Yeah. Um, uh, which is pretty controversial, but uh, it's the gospel needs to be there. Yeah. Right? And uh, they're shooting two more of those. Can absolute Vancouver. truth actually make a difference? Is it transformative even in this environment? Absolutely, 100%. How can you and, be sure? Well, we're seeing it. We're seeing, we're seeing lives transform. We're seeing people not wanting to kill themselves anymore. We're seeing marriages being restored. Um, so the truth, and it's all because of the truth of Jesus Christ, 100%. Jamie Robb. God bless you. Thank you for answering the call of God. And thank you for being a chaplain to the film industry. Yeah. We need more of those young people like yourself. Yes, we do. Thank you, sir. You know, I hope you're encouraged uh, that God is still speaking. And the call that he gave you, he will not rescind it. The wonderful thing about the gospel is this, that when you fight against God, you can't win. But if you fight with him, you can't lose. You may need someone else to encourage you, one 855 700 It's working in culture. It is absolute truth, and it's today's power. We'll be right back with uh, Bristol. 